All right, let's talk about log file parsing. So this is a very common situation that you have to deal with if you are working as an engineer, if you're working as a developer, like a Python developer. And this is a very common situation where you could use Python to automate things. Back in the day, I used to work as a QA engineer and I had to check iOS application log files. Um, and I had to do that manually on a, sometimes on a daily basis, sometimes on a weekly basis. But the point is that if you have a large log file, let's take for example, this one, this one has I don't know, many, many lines, like 30,000, 40,000. And if you have to go through this manually by hand, looking for some specific information, it just becomes frustrating. And um, the first thing that comes to your mind is, how can I automate this? How could I automate this? And back in the day, this is like uh, many years ago when I used to work as a QA engineer, I also had this problem and I figured out that I could write a simple Python script and solve this problem easier to save my time. So this video is going to be about me explaining how you could use Python to write a simple Python log file parsing script that could help you optimize uh, your work and just saved some time to you. Um, I also have a blog post explaining uh, more details about the things that I'm going to show you. I'm gonna list it in the description below. Um, but yeah, so a blog post is listed in the description. And also, if you wanna become a Python developer, but you're just struggling with things, uh, trying to find out where to start, I uh, cannot really find a way to start. Find my contact details in a description and send me a message with your situation. I Maybe I'll be able to help you out. So, so that's that. Let's get started. So what I would do if I would want to extract some logs from this file, how would I start my Python script? So you always start with some kind of environment. So I'm just, I just want to check if my code is running, if I can actually execute some kind of Python script. So I can. So what, what is the next step? When you look at these log files, the first thing you should think about is, well, how can I read this entire log file from Python? So let's do that first. Yeah, so the first thing that you need to do is open up the file. And in Python, you can do it by just typing open and the path to the file. So I have this log parsing folder, then I have logs folder. Uh, so how would I do this is by using logs and the name of the file, sfp ios log txt as and the second thing here is you're choosing the mode in which you're going to open the file i want to use reading mode so read mode is for r writing would be for writing that i want to read as f and then what i want to do is read lines i'm going to read all the lines and let's name this variable this has to be some kind of uh, lines would be like this and basically this should read lines of the file but the next thing you want to do is you want to see if this actually works when you're writing something so how am I going to check this is by typing the following. So for line in the log file lines, print line, 
and I want to use breakpoint just to stop here and see if it prints anything. So I guess this is the first line. All right, I understand that this reads, this code can read lines and I can go through each line in the file. Next thing that you should think about or figure out how to do is how can you uh, look for some kind of patterns in this file. So when I was working on this back in the day, I needed to find, I didn't care about all this text. I needed to find proper, uh, property. I need to find something like property. I was looking for different properties and then uh, deciding what to do based on those properties. So yeah, then what you can do, and you can see that these are like, it's a bit messy, it's not really clear, and that's how usually log files are. It's not clear, you can't really clearly tell what's going on, it's hard to read them. But in Python, you can write a script that summarizes and uh, improves readability. So, basically, just to have something in here uh, to see, as an example, this is what I'm looking for. These are the properties that I'm looking for to extract from the file and remove this comment. So now you should think the same way. If you're working with some kind of log files, you should be thinking, what am I looking for? What type of uh, patterns I'm looking for? And when you look at this, this is a pattern property name. If I search for property name, there are many of those. If I would take many properties here and just analyze them a bit, I would be able to see, okay, they're pretty similar. If I remove this code part, they are not the same, but they are similar. And you can kind of see the pattern here. You can see it's a property tag. It has a name attribute. The only thing that changes here is the name attribute value and the value itself for the property tag. And this is a sort of a pattern that you can recognize. And uh, yeah, now you need to figure out how in Python you could extract such patterns. And when it comes to that, I'm usually using regular expressions. So let's type out some code. I'm going to give you something that you can start with. So you have a line. You want to do something with the line to extract information from the line or check if there's some specific information in the line. So what you would do is for match in re, by the way, you need to import regular expressions. This is how you import regular expressions in Python. So import re, find term then uh, you would use some kind of pattern. Um, then you would use line where s. By the way, this is code that I'm taking from my um, blog post. I'm going to link it in the description below. If you want to see some more details, I'm writing there about the details uh, of what all this means. But now I'm just going to show you how to use this and um, how you can come up with your own patterns. So pattern, what is this pattern? You need some kind of regex. And I'm going to take now a pattern from uh, my blog post. Uh, and the pattern that I'm going to use here is going to be this one. 
And you would ask, well, how did you come up with this pattern? How can I come up with this pattern myself? But before we get into the pattern, I'm going to check if this works so far. Let's see if this works so far. Match, match, uh, break point here. Seems something is not really here. Let's run it one more time. Oh, match text, it's here. So yeah, you can see I'm already selecting properties, just properties. Let's talk about the pattern. So how I came up with this? Well, when I'm working with regular expressions, usually it, it's sometimes hard to come up with these patterns if you don't know exactly what dot, asterisk, question mark, and all these things mean in regex terms. And it can be hard to come up with these patterns. So what I'm usually using is this website, regex101.com, which lets you come up with a regular expression and you can visually see what is actually matched with your regular expression. But this type of pattern is something that I'm using pretty often. And uh, especially I'm talking about this part. Parentheses. So these, as you can see, are capturing groups. And what I'm doing is I'm capturing different groups of text. So when I think about my problem is I wanted to find all the properties. So I don't really care what is the name tag. I don't care when I'm looking. I mean, when I'm looking for these properties, I don't care what's in the name tag, uh, name attribute. I don't care what's the value or what's the string in the property. I just want to find all of them. And uh, this is what this type of pattern lets you do. It just selects everything between these quotes. Any, and any string, no matter how long it is, between the quotes will be selected. And the same goes for finding the property value. Also, I don't care what's the length of the string. I just want to find uh, these properties uh, and it doesn't matter what type of value is there at the moment. So that's the pattern. And you could do, you could come up with different patterns in different situations using the same approach. Let's say we would be looking for something else. I don't know what kind of tag div for some reason. It would be the same thing. You would just use, you would replace the places that change in the pattern with this regular expression and you would be able to uh, select divs all the divs with these name tags. I hope it makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain this concept, but essentially you're looking for patterns and uh, yeah, this is the way I found it works for me with regular expressions. So this is how you would start.